what had happened was hey yeah she popping but never popping off oh, What it do, y'all? You already know what it is. It's me, Nini. Oh, it's Trini. Yay! Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Got the goods. I don't know why I thought heels today would have been great. Alright, y'all. So what had happened was we were not able to make it to Reina on King in Yorkville. Um, I think they actually just were closed in lieu of the new restrictions put on the city. However, we pivot because this is the year of the pivot. And as you can see, we got we got our goods. The goods! I'm so excited. I'm from, hungry. <laughs> from 8 Mile Pizza, and it is Detroit, Detroit style pizza. Um, even though I'm lactose, I'm going to dig in because it looks amazing. I'm going to show you, but we have to find a spot to eat. So that's the vibe for right now. That is the vibe. There's a bench there. Or do you want to go to the car? It's just dark, that's why. It's windy. know the drill this is from eight mile pizza the Sh detroit style pizza we love to see it she's taking too long Who? you yeah this is real life when you record guys even when i'm hungry to get a good shot and get the lighting i actually try even though it's cumbersome doing it in your car i actually try nah you guys gotta go here so of course I'm gonna give you a sight of the pizza, a close look. But, ooh, ooh, ooh! It's like heaven, y'all. The person who worked at Eight Mile was super, super nice. I feel like everywhere right now is being extra good on customer service for the most part seeing as like it's a lockdown and majority of the things like the business and how they're able to operate is not at the same level so he told us the rundown of what the best pizzas were and one of them that i got i think i got both of them this veggie one is called white truffle has arugula, garlic sauce, mushroom, parmesan, cheese. And then this one is the Canadian with mushroom. Um, pepperoni. No, I don't think it was pepperoni. I think it was bacon. Um, so, yeah, this is the amazing Detroit style deep dish pizzas. And I'm so excited to dig into this. So I'm doing a bit of multitasking. But I'm definitely, I got my pictures in, have the food for my Instagram. A little, little chant. Uh, so I'm gonna actually dig in. I'm going to start with the, holy, this is a thick Kiana. This is definitely thickums. Holy, <laughs> this girl has been eating. So typically this is supposed to be a two hand thing, but you girl is doing it with one hand so that she can share it with y'all. I am going in for the kill on this one. So it has red sauce. I think it does have a little pepperoni, some bacon, and you can see the cheese. I didn't show you the cheese pull, but there was a cheese pull and it's a thickiana. You can see that crust. So let's dig in. Mmm.
Wow. <laughs> sister, sister, I'm so sorry. I know you've been dying to come to this place, and I'm sorry I came without you, but it's a must. Mm. So first and foremost, thoughts on my first bite. I don't know how you can go back to regular pizza after this. <laughs> I really mean it. This is how I want my pizzas to taste every time. This is how I want my pizzas to taste all the time. You can taste that they, they took care with the sauce, the garlic, it's fresh ingredients. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cheese focus. <laughs> Every bite has a cheese pull. And you know what? I always think it's a good pizza or it's a good try when things that you don't normally eat start to taste good. Like, I don't normally eat mushrooms. It's not my go-to thing to have on a pizza. But with this, I don't even taste the mushrooms like that. And I think really and truly it's not that i don't taste it i know that they're there but it adds to the actual pizza for me to be honest so yeah i'm excited about that i'm gonna finish this slice and then we're gonna look at the next one Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I will be appreciated. Hope you enjoyed your food. Yes, adventures of freaking frack. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I made it home to finish up some of this meal. Um, and plus, I low key wanted to share with my sis, seeing as I really can't finish and eat all this cheese to my face. Um, and so I'm going to show you the cheesecake and take a bite so you guys can get a review. Honestly, I was eating this off camera, but this carrot cake cheesecake situation, has passed, passed my favorite cheesecake which is the vanilla bean yeah from now on it's only this cheesecake one more bite for the for y'all hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next food venture Peace, y'all.